So today we are out on our walkies, eh, Molly? And we heard something in the bushes, eh? And it was Timmy. And he surprised us. Even though he's a bit mean to her, she loves it when he joins us. Where is he, Timmy? Where's Timmy? Timmy Savage! Timmy slowly! Run Molly! <laughs> Run Molly! Hi and welcome oh. to our channel! Hi guys! We've had a lot, a lot of rain lately and yeah it hasn't stopped really so we've been indoors a lot but when the rain comes and so do we have a lot of wild boar on the land and the wild boar and the rain uncover some beauties on our land some treasures treasures <laughs> and we i love collecting them and putting them near the plants now we've got some amazing quartz apparently it's just regular quartz but i think it's beautiful quartz i have no idea what to do with it but i have loads of this it's i only just cool, got eh? a few samples and um, if anyone knows what we can do with it, please let me know because I'm dying to do a little project with them. Yeah, it's been pretty cloudy and rainy. When it's clear, it gets really cold in winter. But when it's overcast like this and it's rainy, the temperature comes up. So there's like a plus side to everything, basically. Um, we didn't have to waste wood for our fire. We haven't put on the fire. Yeah, ages. well, we put it on yesterday and we sweated. It was like a sauna <laughs> yeah, in there, yeah. I think we... <laughs> which is good because at least the you know we know the caravan is well insulated, so we only have to heat it up when it's when it's really cold. Um, another plus is that we have running water because we haven't insulated our water pipes, um, so when it dropped below zero, everything froze. It pretty much cost me around a hundred and. 26 euros um, to fix everything that got frozen and broken so anything that could have gotten frozen and broken did get frozen and broken which was the the gasoline water pump from the well which takes it to we have a tank up on the hill here um, the geezer the water heater um, which blew one of the copper pipes because it froze and expanded and that cost me 40 euros as well and 40 euros for the switch of the electric water pump that supplies our shower and kitchen sink but now i've got everything fixed at last which was nice because we've been uh, washing the dishes from a jerry can you know so definitely by next winter i have to insulate all the pipes and the box I insulate a box around the water pump and the geezer so live and learn yeah, but it's crazy like how we got used to certain things. When we first got on the land, we didn't have all this. This is how we used to do everything. Get water from the well and yeah. water the plants and well, much now, like that. Now it feels like luxury again that we have running water. <laughs> I had the best shower ever yesterday with steaming hot water and I stayed in there for ages, <laughs> which felt like luxury. Um, and then when uh, we do have blue skies, we always take the opportunity and use our cob oven, which we're going to show you next Sunday on how we built it. Now, we don't have loads of videos because we built the cob oven before we actually started our YouTube channel. But we do have some photos, so we're going to put something together just to show you how we built our cob oven next week. Yeah, well, um, when, when I look back at our photos that we have, we have hundreds and thousands of photos, but all of molly or the view or the sunset that we have we have none of our projects so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the few that we have we we want to yeah, show you what we did before we have come a long way <laughs> yeah and today um we're going to show you how i cook bread in, in the oven because we had a sunny day last week if you want to check out the recipe i'm going to put a suggestion up here and I'm also going to play you the introduction. This was the first recipe Luke ever made on the, our YouTube channel. And I think it's just so cute of him and Molly introducing the video. So here it goes. Hello, my name's Luke and this here is Molly. <laughs> Say hello, Molly. Say hello louder. Wasn't that cute? <laughs> Didn't you just love it? <laughs> She's a cutie, all right. <laughs> Both of them are. <laughs> mm. So this is a, an old cork tree 
that was burnt before we bought our land. We've got, I think there's two or three huge ones, like the one behind me here, that were burnt. And now they're all kind of collapsing. And so I've been harvesting them for firewood. But I was just taking it off. And I mean, I knew cork comes from cork trees before we came to Portugal, but I didn't actually, I never actually saw it. Um, so I was just taking off the bark because I'm uh, about to put the pit salvan on because it's such a nice day today. So we can uh, make some ftira, which is like a multi sourdough flatbread. I've got a recipe on it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was, I'm, I'm, using, I'm going to use this for firewood because you need the hardwood really. So as I was peeling it off, I thought I might as well show some of you who don't know. Okay, Molly. Hello. Say hello, Molly. You were, be, you were asleep in the caravan, you were lazy bones. You are. You're lazy bones. Wow, wow, that's an ugly one. Anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to, pff, Molly, can I please talk to the camera? You ready? What about those chookies? You're gonna, you're gonna go get the chookies? Where's the chookies? Go get the chookies. Go get Pip. Go tell him. Good girl. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the core. Okay, it's pretty cool. This is obviously burnt when it was burnt. I think it was probably around 11 years ago now because they told us, the neighbors told us it was about seven or eight years ago when we first bought the property. Pretty cool. And they just stamp out corks. Anyway. I'll just clean off the bark, chop some wood so I can get the oven on. Leave that on for two hours now I normally we used to when we used to put the oven on we used to make pizza first which is bringing the temperature way way up high and then taking out all the coals and since we have the oven is hot we normally make bread and then we normally either chuck in a couple of chickens just to use all the heat but uh, we were finding we just had way too much food, especially when it was just me and Sarah. We used to have like pizza parties, then it would be okay because we'd have fresh bread for, for the evening and for the day after and the following day and give a loaf to each of our friends, you know. Um, but when it's just us two, it's just too much food and I kind of want to eat the bread nice and warm and fresh when it comes out of the oven. But if I'm stuffed with pizza, I won't be eating it, obviously. Well, that's already really hot. Anyway, I'm going to leave this maybe an hour and I'll come back and chuck in maybe one or two bigger logs. We can leave that on its own. Oh yeah.
this, I just broke up all the embers and just spread them on the floor to heat it up a bit more evenly. And now, get that wheelbarrow. We normally keep the bigger pieces for barbecuing, for charcoal and the smaller pieces either we grind or just smash with a rock and chuck it into either the compost or the poop compost and I prefer to take out all the coals from in the oven since I've got six loaves and it's a pretty small oven really you need all the space you can get and if there's hot embers in there close to one of the breads I'll have to stay moving them around constantly and lose heat by opening so like this, it, the bread just cooks with residual heat that, that's emitted from the clay bricks and the clay oven itself. And this we just uh, leave it there and then dry it in the sun. My favourite thing to do with um, the Maltese Ftira, the Maltese sourdough flatbread, is Malta's national sandwich. Hobbs bizate, which literally means bread with oil. Now there's a bit more than oil with it. It's basically tomato paste and olive oil, salt, pepper, tuna, olive, capers, onion, mint, some people put basil. It's, it's super, super popular and it is seriously, seriously yummy and easy to do. When we first came to Portugal, we had driven down to Morocco and um, they have something very similar in, in Morocco. I forgot what they call it, but it's pretty much yeah. the same thing um, with oil like and tomato thing. paste and mint. So I'm not quite sure where the origins of the sandwich comes from. But anyway, it's seriously, seriously yummy. <laughs> I hope this made you hungry and you go and look at our other recipe and want to make it too. Yeah, as long as you use a crusty <laughs> bread, you can make it with anything. I mean, as a kid in school, like all my classmates, they used to even have it on normal sliced white bread, you know, but that's not the way to do it. We you need the crusty that, bread. I know. <laughs> we used to do that. You need the crusty <laughs> bread. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you enjoy watching our videos and want to support us further, you can head on down to patreon.com and look for Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life and you can see all the different levels and options you have there to support us. We really appreciate every single person that supports us. We couldn't do it without you. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.